Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, welcome. We are just going to give people a chance to get in and then we will get started. Hi, everybody. Hi, we're just waiting for a few minutes. We'll get started soon. Thank you so much for making it today. Beautiful weather out there. It is. Hello, everyone. Hi. Oh, we're so happy to have you. Yeah. It's a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon, I have to say. Art and celebrating summer. What better way to start everything? We are getting lots of hellos in the chat and thank yous. Oh, well, thank you for coming. We are so happy to have everybody. We are so happy to be here. Yeah. Oh, we love arts and crafts too. That is one of my favorite things to do. And there are so many great ways that you can do arts and crafts. The library, we have all kinds of arts and crafts books. And Sarah here is definitely an expert on that, so. Yeah. <laughs> and lots of hellos. I'm gonna give it one more minute and then we'll just get started, okay? Yeah, someone just said it. It's fun to do art and arts and crafts every day. Hi. Hello. Okay, well, if I am going to go ahead and get us started. So, hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Megan. I am a librarian at Sacramento Public Library. And I'm here today with Sarah from the Crocker Art Museum. Hi. So just really quickly, I want to let everyone know we have closed captioning if you need it. To access it, you just have to click the CC closed captioning button um, in your Zoom or wherever you are viewing us from. Um, we are so happy to have you with us today for a special celebration of summer and reading and art. And there are so many fun ways to celebrate summer and things to do in summer. At Sacramento Public Library, we want to invite you to join our Summer Reading Challenge. Um, it's a really simple process. You just sign up on our website, or you can sign up at your local library branch, wherever you like to go. You sign up, and once you sign up, all you have to do is read, keep track of your reading, and then you can earn prizes for the reading. And you might wonder, what kind of reading can you do? Well, we believe that all reading is good reading. So you can listen to an audio book. You can read a picture book together. You could read a stack of comics that you have that's checked out, because I know you're going to want to read more than one. All of those count as reading. Whatever you enjoy is great reading. So you earn prizes just for reading. But books are just the beginning. We also really encourage people to complete activities with the Summer Reading Challenge. So you can do all kinds of activities, but one of the big ones that we like is exploring your community. You can explore by reading outside, or you can make a map of your neighborhood. You could visit a park. There are so many things that you can do in Sacramento, and one of the many places that we encourage you to visit this summer is the Crocker Art Museum. So what better way to get started with summer than to have a visit with Crocker Art Museum. Take it away, Sarah. All right. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. So, the, so although I'm joining you all virtually today, uh, the Crocker is open. We are open Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays right now. Um, you do need to register for tickets online, but we are open for you to come visit. We are also doing programming online, including this special program with the SAC Library. So I love the SAC Library, and although I can't see all of you today, I can see your comments. So thank you for all the highs and thank yous. I'm going to be asking you to interact with me via comments. So 
type in your type in your comments in chat so I can hear from all of you today. We're going to start off by actually looking at some artwork. I'm going to share my screen real, real quickly. And we're starting off with a look at the materials you received in your art kit. Now I did see someone that said they missed out on the art kits and that's okay because a lot of these materials are things that you might be able to find at home or you might be able to get creative with. So on my materials list, I have some wire, some beads, some paper, feathers, and straws. Some alternative materials could be string or yarn. Maybe you have some other colorful paper at home. Instead of straws, you can use twigs or sticks or you know, maybe some plastic utensils you have in your junk drawer. Um, if you don't have any beads, I bet you have some, um, some buttons around, maybe in uh, uh, your junk drawer as well. And maybe you have some feathers or maybe you have some other fun materials you want to incorporate into today's uh, kinetic sculpture. So the materials that we are using today are also included in some of the artwork I'm showing. So let's start with our first piece, a sculpture by Claire Falkenstein. So I always like to start by just looking at the artwork. So take a few seconds to look. And then I'd love for you to share what you see. So if you ever get stuck, you could start with some of the elements of art, which include color, line, shape, form. Do we have anything in the chat? What do you see? Let's see. Oh, I'm someone saying. says it looks like a cobweb box, a spider cage. Someone else says it's made out of wire, string, maybe rocks. Yeah, squares, square art. Yes, I see a square. And it, what do you know what a three-dimensional square is called? Anyone? A cube. <laughs> yeah, so there's it looks all tangled and spider webby. Great. What about the colors? I haven't seen any colors. All right, the colors. Someone else says a broken box made of wire, colors in a spider web, spider web with planets. Oh, these are all great. We have some in terms of color, some silver web, colored eggs, jewel light, brown. Yeah, so thank you for sharing all your comments. So I'm going to take a close, let's see if I can take a closer look with my magnifying glass so you can see a little bit closer. So yes, it does. The artist has used wire and also melted glass, which you see in the middle in these little circular pieces. And she's used all sorts of different colors. I see some green, maybe some beige, red, orange, blue. Yeah, Sarah so said it looks like candy. Oh, candy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe Melted Candy Jolly Ranchers. All right. Yeah, so this, so we are going to be using some wires today. And maybe you want to make your wires look all cobwebby, like a cobweb or a spider. Um, maybe you want to make straight lines, curvy lines, zigzag lines. All right, let's take a look at our next artwork. Again, I'm going to have you just look for a few seconds. And then I'd love for you to share what you see. And again, if you ever get stuck, you can share the elements of art. So color, line, shape, form. Oh, let's see. We have a lot. Yeah, so this artwork is by Jamie Akuma. And someone, I think the first comment was red. Yes, these shoes are bright red. Um, another person says high heels. Yeah, high heel shoes. Great shoes. Red. Someone else, oh, someone else says they see a snake. 
Let's see if we could find that snake together. So hold up your finger, and I'm going to put my arrow where the snake's tongue is. And then we're going to curve. Oops. We're going to curve. Oops. You went backwards. We're going to curve all the way down. And then we're back up. And then we're going to curve back up. And we have the tail of the snake. So yes, there's a tail of the snake. All right, what other types of shapes or lines do you see in this artwork? Diamonds, yeah, diamonds. Someone mentioned the story of Lemony Snicket. Oh, tell me more about yeah. Lemony Snicket. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so the artist uses a lot of triangles. Yeah, and a lot of, so other than red, we also see some pink, some blue, some yellow, some black. Someone mentions that the heels were a different color than the shoe. Yeah, good eye. So you may not have noticed that this, these heels are made out of beads. So these are thousands of beads that the artist has put on the shoes. And someone just asked, are these real high heels or a painting? And these are actually real high heels. Can you imagine sticking your your feet into these shoes? Someone you asked about the words and the those. letters on there. Do you oh, know what the eyes. word is that's on there? Yes, the word is poliocum. Poliocum is the artist, uh, refers to the artist's family's ancestral lands. So her homelands. The, the artwork is called No Place Like Home, Poliocum. So the artist is also referring to something else in popular culture. Has anyone seen The Wizard of Oz? Yes. Yeah, and what color shoes does Dorothy wear in The Wizard of Oz? She wears red shoes. And there's something that she does. She clicks her red shoes to go home. So the artist is referencing both her homeland and also a popular culture reference. No place like home, no place like home. All right, so we're going to use some of our supplies. We're going to look back at our materials. We have some wire, some beads, some paper, feathers, and straws. And we're going to use our supplies to make our very own kinetic sculpture. Now, a kinetic sculpture is something that moves. The two pieces of artwork we saw today don't move but today's sculpture will. And all of our sculptures are gonna look a little bit different. Not only do we have different supplies, but we are all different people. So we create different things. Um, but to start off with, so let's go ahead and put my other screen on perfect. I have a few different pieces of wire. I'm gonna readjust here. I'm gonna pick this one to start off with. And I want to, we're going to be using this to hang someplace. Maybe you want to hang in your bedroom. Maybe you want to hang on the refrigerator outside. So I'm going to create a loop so this is, so I can hang it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist a few times. And if you have these supplies at home, go ahead and follow along. Create with me. And I also put all my beads and stuff into a little bowl. So I'm going to pick a, a bead that I want to use. Let's see. Let's start with the blue bead. And I'm just going to thread it through. And I'm going to start off with one of these boba straws. So you might have noticed in the middle of the straw, there's a hole pinch. And I'm going to use that middle to thread my two wire pieces through. Orange is my favorite color, so I'm starting off with orange. All right. And I'm just going to build off from here. So what I can do is I can add some more beads. Let's see. And maybe you want to lay out your items. Let's 
Got some beads. What fun beads do you, did you get in your kit? I have this pretty pink metallic bead. And I want to create some branches where I can hang more items off of. So I'm going to take another one of those wires and straighten it out a little bit. And I'm going to thread it through the straw. And now I have more places for me to hang off of. And in thinking about the different types of lines that we saw today, I might want to use this wire to make a curvy line, um, maybe like a curly cue. So I can use a pencil or my finger to wrap the wire around. And look, we've got a curly line. Or maybe I want a zigzag line, like a piece of lightning, and make some zigzags. Or maybe I want some loop-de-loop -loop lines. Really, you get to decide. So I've got a loop-de-loop. -loop. What type of lines are you creating at home? Let's see. I'm going to take a peek at the comments. All right, can everyone see Sarah's artwork now? Can you see it? We got we had a few comments that they weren't able oh, okay. to see. Okay. Just a Perfect. Sorry about that. Okay, great. Great. So we've just been creating some lines. I have some zigzag lines, some curly Q lines, some loop de loop lines. Anyone else make their own lines at home? What type of lines would you make? All right, now I'm going to start adding some more places where I can branch out. I'm going to add another branch over here. And you know what? To make sure that this little straw doesn't fall off, I'm going to add a bead. I'm going to curve my... Sarah. We have a question about the two art pieces that you showed. If they're sure. on display at the Crocker or are they somewhere else? Currently, the Claire Falkenstein piece, the cube, the first one we saw, is on display. Um, the high heel shoes are not currently on display. All right. Now, in your kit, you also have some paper. And what you can do with this paper is you can roll it up and maybe make some beads that you string on to your kinetic sculpture. So I'm going to string it on like that. Or if you have a, I just opened up a, um, what are these things called? <laughs> <laughs> Paper clip. Or you could open up the paper clip and make a little tiny hole. I'm going to use it to make a little tiny hole. And I can create things with this paper. So I'm going to make another zigzag to add to my mobile. So I'm just folding it accordion style. This will add some color, some movement. I'm going to add this piece at the very bottom. And close off this wire. All right, so I still have some more areas to build off of. How is everyone doing at home? Is it okay, oh, yeah. So I have some Someone, questions? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay? <laughs> I was just going to ask you that. Of course. You don't have to use them. Of course, you get to choose what pieces, what items you get to use. All right, I think I need to add, I'm gonna add, I found 
this special bead. I look I think this is a little lion. Did you get any special beads in your kit? I saw some stars. Yes, Bridget asked, am I twisting the ends to make sure it doesn't fall off? Yeah. So you can twist it in a variety of different ways. For this little lion guy, I'm going to twist my wire and feed it back through the lion. You can also just simply twist around. You can explore different ways to um, make sure that things aren't falling off. Maybe every few times you might want to hold it up, make sure nothing's falling mm -hmm. off, and adjust where needed. So let's see, I have one more piece of wire. I'm going to go back through the, the straw and start hanging. Let's see. What we have a question, and we have a question about the feathers. What do we do with the feathers? Great question. Mm -hmm. I noticed those are the only the materials feathers. I haven't used. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just wrap the wire around the feathers. So you can put the feathers wherever you want. Maybe you want to wrap it on the bottom. Maybe you want to stick it in one of those straw holes. Maybe you want to feed it through the beads. You get to decide because you're the artist today. So, let's see, I've used all my supplies. I've used my straws. I have a few more beads, so I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna add some more beads to mine. How are my friends at the library doing? Ooh, mine's coming together really well. Oh, good, are you stuck on any part? Well, you know, I was a little, stuck in thinking that I could only do one thing with my feathers, but then you made that suggestion about putting it in the wires or in the bees. Mm -hmm. and now I'm changing it up. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and now, I have made you... some little loop de loos that I've stuck my feathers in. If you decided to use the feathers in a different way or the wire or beads in a different way, share in the comments. I'm going to add some of my beads to the ends. I like the sparkly beads, the metallic beads. And let's see. So again, to make sure those beads don't fall off, I'm just looping my wire back through the beads. Most of these beads have pretty large holes, so that might not work for this one. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna twist it, like a twisty tie. Yeah, so we'll be able to see some of the other panelists' artwork in just a second. Great, thanks for asking. Because really, it's amazing how different they all look. All right, I'm almost finished. And again, I want to make sure to close off my last beads so they don't fall off at the ends. All that hard work. All right. So this one, or you can go ahead and go back to my other screen. So my finished project this time around went wide versus long. So very different pieces. Anyone anyone else from the library want to share what they made? I can show. All right, let's make sure we get you on screen so we can see. Yeah. I see Barbara holding hers up. Barbara, yeah, look at that. Longer. Ooh. Barbara connected all of her wire together. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I did. I made like a loop and everything and then it comes down in one at the bottom oh how cool and look i love that everyone's look so different and amanda you chose just your green and yellow pieces are those your favorite colors yeah 
<laughs> I, I thought they went well together. I've got a little white and orange in here too. It just isn't showing on the screen. It reminds me of summer uh, fruit, citrus, limes, lemons. And then Megan, Ooh, yeah, like me, that. used all the different colors. I do it for myself. It's so nice. Yeah, so where are you going to hang your mobile, your kinetic sculpture? I'm going to hang mine in the window. What about you, Barbara? Oh, you're on mute. Yeah, I'm in my office and I'm going to find some place here in my office so that I can see all the colors. There you go. Amanda, are you going to, where are you going to hang yours? I'm going to take mine home and hang it up in my window like Megan. Nice. I need to, my cat thinks this is a cat toy, so I'm going to have to hang this really high. Um, so I hope you, you can keep creating and making, take all the time that you need. Maybe you want to start over. You have all the time. And maybe you don't even use all of your materials. You get to decide. But while you're creating, I do want to share some things that we have going on at the Crocker this summer. Again, as I mentioned, we are open. So we're open Thursday through Sunday. Um, you do need to register in advance so you can purchase tickets on our website, crockerartmuseum.org. Crockerart.org. Um, and face masks are required for children to and up. We just opened a beautiful show. Um, last Sunday, the Lewis Comfort Tiffany Treasures from the Dry House Collection. And this show includes stained glass windows, lamps, and much, much more. Um, in terms of summer program, we have a mix of virtual and in-person programming. Make sure to check out Gallery Bites, which is perfect for elementary age kids or adults. And then in-person, we'll be doing family programs this summer in July and August. Our program Family Fun will include a family tour and art making activity. Uh, registration is required for both of these programs and tickets are available on our website. Thank you so much, Sarah. I love seeing all that art and it's so fun to see everyone's different creations. Um, we love that so many people showed up and if you didn't get one of our art packs, that's okay. Like I said, the theme, one of the themes for the activities for summer reading is going out and exploring your community. When you're out on a walk, you can pick up rocks, you could pick up a twig, you could wrap it with some string, and voila, you have an art piece. So don't yeah. just be limited by what we have given you, or maybe you didn't get one. You can you can use your imagination to do whatever you like. Megan, I love that idea. It got me thinking you can make a natural themed with sticks and maybe seashells and rocks. Yeah. Or maybe you could make things from stuff you find in your junk drawer. But yeah, yeah. you get to choose your, your creative person. Yeah, it's a great way to, um, to look at the world in a new way. You can look not only at the beautiful things that you're passing by, but you can also think, how could I make that into art? Maybe you're at the beach and you wanted to do that. You could pick up uh, some little shells by the riverbed and you never know what you could do with those. So we want to thank you all for coming and we want to um, thank Sarah. Don't forget to sign up for our summer reading program. Um, one of the things I wanted to highlight is that we have lots of things. So you can come into the library and you can pick up many different items to read from, including picture books. And at Sacramento Public Library, we have these amazing read together packs. They look like this. Storytime kits. They have ideas for activities. This one is a movement and sound theme. That was upside down, but I hope you can read upside down. Um, and it has all kinds of great titles, like some of the ones behind me. It isn't a shirt. It's a, uh, it's a bag, and it comes with six books plus activity ideas and songs you can sing together, and you're never too old to sing a song or read together. Let me tell you, I still love to do it, and I am definitely an adult. So in addition to all of that, 
You can do the activities that we have on our web website for summer reading. We have lots of suggestions for ways that you can support um, your own learning and enjoying. Oh, that's a great question. Someone asked, when will it end? So summer reading is uh, from June to August 15th. And you can sign up anytime now. And uh, you can keep reading all summer long. You can win prizes. We have uh, books to win for children and adults can win a bag. Um, and we are having more activities like this all summer long. So next, or all, uh, yes, and next month we are going to be hosting the zoo. The zoo is going to be visiting with us and we're gonna have another activity pack that we're going to be distributing. It's gonna be so much fun. I hope all of you can join us. Maybe you wanna prepare yourself by reading some animal books. You never know. Oh, great question. Someone asked when. July 10th, that is when we are going to be doing our zoo activity. But in the meantime, there's lots of things you can do. You can go to the Crocker, you can go to the library, you can visit one of our pop-up events that we're gonna be hosting. You can also visit any of our virtual programs. Someone asked how many prizes there are. Ooh, well, in addition to getting a, a book as a prize for reading, you can also win a really cool medal, like you're a, a medalist at the Olympics. That's only if you read a lot and you're doing a really good job. It's very special. I hope all of you can, oh, somebody got one. I hope all of you try to earn one. Reading is so much fun. So thank you again for joining us. And thank you, Sarah. And we'll see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for coming.